Ever held something really light but incredibly tough? You might have touched the future, and that future often has titanium in it. This metal is a show-off gleaming, powerful, and surprisingly light. Titanium is an element like gold or iron, with the chemical symbol Ti, number 22 on the periodic table. It's not man-made, it's a true earth-born metal. Titanium has been waiting in the ground for us to discover its secrets. So, what makes this wonder material so special? Let's dive into the world of titanium and see why it's the metal of the future. Ready? Let's go! Titanium hides in minerals like ilmenite and rutile, found in igneous rocks and beach sands. The journey begins in massive open-pit mines with huge trucks and diggers. The raw ore contains a small percentage of titanium minerals, so a lot of earth is moved. The first step is beneficiation, concentrating the good stuff. They crush the rocks, grind them down, and separate the heavier titanium minerals. This involves magnets, spirals, or floating the minerals in special liquids. The result is a concentrate rich in titanium dioxide, TO2. TO2 is used in paint, sunscreen, and food coloring, but for the high-performance metal, more steps are needed. The next steps involve intense heat and clever chemistry. Let's see how we turn this concentrate into pure titanium. Things are about to get hot. Turning titanium dioxide into usable metal is a clever process. William Kroll invented the Kroll process. First, titanium dioxide reacts with chlorine gas in a super-hot furnace, creating titanium tetrachloride, TiCal-4. This liquid is then put into another reactor with an inert gas. Molten magnesium is introduced, reacting with TiCal-4. The magnesium nabs the chlorine atoms, leaving behind pure titanium. This forms a metallic sponge, porous and rough. Extracting this sponge and separating it from magnesium chloride is tough. The Kroll process is expensive but essential for obtaining pure titanium. This sponge is the raw metal, ready for further refinement. The next steps will transform this sponge into a shiny high-performance metal. Let's see how we go from spongy goop to super shiny titanium. The journey continues with more heat and precision. Ready for the next step? Let's dive in. Here we go. We've got titanium sponge but it needs refinement. The sponge is crushed, pressed into compacts and welded into an electrode. This electrode undergoes vacuum arc remelting VR. An electric arc melts the electrode forming molten titanium in a vacuum. This process can be repeated for purity and consistency. After VR we have a solid ingot of high purity titanium. This ingot is the starting point for various titanium products. To shape it processes like forging and rolling are used. Titanium is strong and stubborn but the results are worth it. From sponge to ingot it's a long, energy-intensive journey. Each step ensures the final product has incredible properties. It's a testament to human ingenuity. Turning common minerals into advanced materials is no small feat. The final product is ready for high-performance applications. Let's see why titanium is so brilliant. Why all the fuss about titanium? Its properties are brilliant. It's as strong as steel but 45% lighter. This strength-to-weight ratio is ideal for aerospace and fast vehicles. Titanium is incredibly resistant to corrosion. It forms a tough layer of titanium oxide, protecting it from almost anything. This makes it perfect for marine applications and harsh environments. Titanium is also biocompatible, ideal for medical implants. It doesn't cause allergic reactions or get rejected by the body. This makes it perfect for hip replacements, dental implants, and more. Titanium is used in aerospace, sports, and everyday items. Its unique properties make it the go-to material for critical applications. It's strong, light, corrosion-proof, and non-toxic. Titanium is the metal of choice when performance and reliability are crucial. It's the metal of tomorrow, making our world better today. Let's look at its environmental impact next. Producing titanium isn't easy on the environment. The Kroll process is energy-intensive, often relying on fossil fuels. Mining disrupts habitats and landscapes. Chemical processes need careful handling to avoid pollution. Waste products like magnesium chloride must be managed responsibly. The industry is aware and working on greener methods. Titanium is highly recyclable, reducing its environmental impact. Recycling takes much less energy than producing from raw ore. Collecting and reusing titanium scrap is crucial. Researchers are developing more efficient, greener production methods. New titanium alloys with better properties are being explored. Titanium will play a massive role in future technologies. It's the metal of tomorrow, 
and we're working towards a greener future. Titanium is too good not to be part of our sustainable future. Let's continue to innovate and make titanium even better. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe for more exciting content.